deeply into the, the other things in my life, cars and bikes and whatnot I was trying to keep myself busy with. And I believed myself cured in that sense. I thought maybe I'd got out of it, I'd grown out of it, you know. Uh, so you weren't just fooling her, you were fooling no, yourself? No, I was fooling myself well and truly. Because, I mean, for a long time I refused to accept it. This about myself. It was, I, I put it off when I came out here. I put it behind me and I started to lead a new life. And although I still felt uh, urgings, the need to do something, I put it away and do something else. But uh, all I was doing was pushing the cork further into the volcano, basically. So for years, Eddie tried to distract himself from his thoughts. He involved himself in male activities like motorbike racing, boat building, even rock climbing. But the distractions did not work. Eventually, Eddie realised that the only way he could be happy was to start dressing occasionally as a woman, the way he had done all those years ago. But that meant he had to somehow tell Margaret. He asked me how I felt about transvestites or men dressing as women. And I just said, oh, well, um, all right. <laughs> it didn't seem to be anything terrible. And then he told me that he was one. Well, I felt a bit differently in the next five minutes than I had before that. And my whole, then my world sort of changed for me with that realisation. Eddie joined a transvestite social club and went through periods where he would dress up quite often. But during those periods, Margaret became very unhappy and her health was affected. And when he wasn't dressing up, Eddie became unhappy and depressed. So depressed that once he even tried to destroy himself. It was like misery personified. His eyes were so sad, very, very sad. His whole, his whole face was, was just as if he was in some kind of agony that nobody could possibly know about. However, he was holding the gun with the barrel pointed up and just holding it. And I said, put it away, Eddie. You know, take out the ammunition and put it away. And he got up and he said, get out of my way, Margaret. And I said, what are you going to do? And he said, get out of my way. So I persevered and followed him into the bathroom. And finally, he began to unload it in front of me. Watching Simone and Bianca, it's very easy to forget they were born male. Nice. Get this stick out of the way. Yeah, that gives it more fullness here too on the hip. That's terrific. The colour looks really nice. It's very stunning, aren't they? So you've got the figure for it, and you're tall and... Yeah, it's the plain colour. You can put yeah, different colour belts and shoes right. and make it look naturally yeah. nice. Simone and Bianca both believe they are women who just happen to be born with a few male characteristics. Most noticeably, of course, male genitals. But is that actually possible? Is the cause of transsexuality biological? Research has shown that some transsexuals do have genetic abnormalities, but it's not yet understood how that affects behaviour. So what are the other theories? When a baby is born, the doctor simply looks at its genitals and classifies it as male or female. But actually being boy or girl, what does that mean? In South Australia recently, a baby boy with a malformed penis was given a sex change operation and his mother won a legal battle to have his birth certificate changed to female. The fascinating thing is that that baby boy is going to be brought up and treated as a girl. But does that necessarily mean he'll grow up to believe he is a woman, as transsexuals do? Transsexuality is thought by many to be caused by environmental influences. Problems in the relationship with a parent is considered important. Bianca's mother left her when she was only three. Eddie was very frightened of his father and Simone was regularly mistaken for a little girl in her childhood. 
Now, obviously, the causes are more complex than that, but one thing is known, and that is that transsexuality always begins at a young age. Bianca, you're a very pretty girl. Thank you. What do you remember about being a pretty little boy? Well, I got hassled. I was frightened. I never stood up for myself. Because I never did what um, boys did. Did you play games like football? Once. <laughs> and it wasn't me. I completely quitted that. What happened? Well, I broke my arm. I tackled somebody. <laughs> and um, that was the first time I tackled somebody. But um, guys still used to call me poof and everything. What was it like having a brother who was regarded around the school as a bit of a poof? Uncomfortable. <laughs> did you have to fight for him? Yeah, I did. I mean, he comes over to me and, and tells me about it and I have to... I, I feel as if, though, I have to protect him. So. You actually had fist fights? Yeah. I thought I was gay. At 14, I didn't have much success with um, having sex with females, which I tried several times. Did you get erections? Yes and no. Um, it was up to an extent where I could have sex with females, but I never released. I've always thought there was something wrong with me because I've never released. Tommy slowly drifted away from home and into the gay scene, where he did have a permanent relationship for two years. But his problems didn't end there because he also discovered what it meant to be poofed bashed. The first time I got bashed was very traumatic. I walked down the stairs to get off the train and these guys, they were really drunk. And they just called me poof and everything else and I just ignored them. One of them walked up to me and started belting into me. I started crying and I was thinking to myself, how could you guys really bash somebody this bad? <laughs> King of Sports crowning summer. Ascot. Get a group going Saturday. You know, moving house can be a most disturbing ordeal from your grandest treasure to your most delicate. <sighs> Curtis Brothers. Yes, Curtis Brothers, you won't be disturbed. Next door, interstate, overseas. You know, Christmas in Australia is like nowhere else. I mean, we don't have snow and all that stuff. No, our Christmas is something special. Maybe that's why I'm driving everyone to Karen Up Shopping Centre. They have an Aussie Santa and his koala and kangaroo mates are there too. And all the kids are gonna love them. I think I'll take mine along. You know, I thought Santa came for the cup, but he probably arrived early just for Karen Up Shopping Centre. Beauty. I'm an icy girl with an icy smile. Staying icy cool, that's my icy style. I'm an icy guy, got an icy stare. Keeping icy cool, that's my icy flair. I see a cool change coming my way. I see refreshment on a sunny day. Oh, I, I see a cool change coming my way. I see a cool change coming. Whoa, I, I see a cool change coming my way. I see refreshment. 
Transsexuals have no legal recognition and their place in the community is confused and difficult. It's not easy for them to find permanent relationships. But Simone is fortunate. 18 months ago, she met Les. It's taken me so long to get something stable in my life. Whether this is in direct relation to all those shock treatments I did have, I, I don't know. But since I've been with Les, I seem to have somebody I can confide in, somebody that understands. And you feel, well, nothing's going to happen to me anymore because I've got somebody there that loves me and is going to look after me. Okay, I think I'll go in for a swim. I'd been around to three or four nightclubs that evening, and uh, there was a last, last resort. <laughs> I was looking for someone to talk to, and I saw Simone there, and I thought, oh, that's not bad. <laughs> just, and uh, we just met there. Simone told me straight away that she was transsexual, so there wasn't going to be any misunderstanding, and I liked her, and it didn't make any difference. And uh, as far as I was concerned, it was like a normal heterosexual relationship. When I found out that uh, Simone had not had the operation, I, my first reaction was that I felt like I'd been conned. Hey, what's, what's the story, you know? You, you're heterosexual, you're supposed to be going out with women, real women. So what was the story? <laughs> it, it takes a bit of um, searching.